Hi guys. So um, the simplest thing as turning the bus around and facing the op opposite direction is um, teaching us a whole new level of things. Um, it's crazy. You wouldn't think just by turning your bus around you'd experience something different. But um, apparently now for some reason we are quite a bit unlevel than how we were before. And Randy and I, are re we really noticed it last night and it could be the slope away from the building. But um, he went and bought some jacks and we're gonna experience um, trying to level our bus for the very first time. So we thought we'd bring you guys along. Well, the drawers are self-closing, but they really close, self-close easier now because we're, seems like a lot on the way, but it's not that far. It's not that far. Okay, guys, so we've got the level. Oh yeah, we are. We're, We're a whole bubble up. Let's see how this counter. countertop compares. Oh yeah, the countertops. Well, that just means that the two aren't in sync with each other. But look at that. Yeah. And this is the opposite side of the bus. So are you looking where to jack? Is that what you're doing under here? Yeah. I mean, it's real easy to jack it on all four corners. I think we should try that first before we resort to having to crawl underneath here. I've seen another bus do this. He just had these on all four corners and he seemed to be okay, so. Well, we don't know uh, unless we try. And here's what we got, guys. If the bus is 32,000 gross vehicle weight, and there's four of these at 7.5, if the bus was fully loaded, Four of them should pick it up, but I that physics stuff I don't know. But we're gonna talk in each corner. The C frame goes like this and drops down. This is the C frame right here. Well, that, so it makes the most logic sense to jack up on that, huh? Well, you can kind of tell from out here. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell how the bus is a little bit tilting. There's the building. Oh, she's moving, honey. So check it out, we have our level down here. Did you put it on before we, oh, we, we never thought to put it on before we started. That would have been a good idea, huh? Oh, we, could we could do it on the front of the bus. I wonder if it'll stick on here. Then the question is, it's got a good foot this way. If we're gonna use these like this, we could bolt them to a piece of wood or... I don't know, YouTube, this is all new to me. I didn't have to put too much pressure on that one back there at all to get it to go up. I mean, it's not super easy to crank. thing I know for sure is you don't ever want to crawl underneath once you've got these up a little bit because if they fail it will fall on you. So there we go with that. We're in position. What do you think babe? I think it's like Chris said if we if we get somewhere really in level, we're still going to need those leveling plates to get us close. Yeah. And then put these under and touch it up. Because we're not that far off a level here. No, it was just a little bit, huh? I think it'll work. I only bought the one pair to check it. Um, they might wear out from lifting that much, but... I think we're just gonna have to try them and see how well they wear. And I do too. Maybe somebody on YouTube, everybody will say, buy the Bigfoots. They're $5,000. Not buying those. Not quite in our budget, huh? No. 
Okay guys, let's go inside and see how it feels in here. Let's check this out. Shelly's like, ooh, 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 it's level. It, well, it's good, it's good. So um, we've tried it here and we're level in the back. And then... I'll put it up here for you. You put it on the floor and we're still a little bit off on the floor, but like I told him, the floor kind of slopes, but... Well, the floor is not perfectly level. Yeah, this countertop is nice and level. And then on this side where the sink is, is nice and level so and it's showing it needs to come up just a hair uh, but it's close it's uh, it's yeah. close enough that's how you would use it that's so. right we're not living in a house we're in a bus <laughs> for heaven's sakes hey i think yeah. we got it this is g way better than it was Okay guys, so I got some uh, feedback from Chris and Joe both on leveling this thing and holding it stable. And I actually started out, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but I went to get jacks like this, but they've all been recalled temporarily at Harbor Freight. But Joe suggested, we'll use the ones we have here and see how they work for the purpose. So I did. And then I was gonna have one screw jack and one hydraulic jack just to compare them and try them. But the hydraulic jack's not so great on the back end because they gotta be up so high. So kind of a clear advantage on the back end with the, the scissor jacks. I think that's what they're called. Except for putting them up and down. And so Chris said, do this. So. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to go find out. But by doing this, if I put it in screw mode and use the clutch, I can see it because we are not lifting the bus. So don't, I know people are going to go, you can't do that. You're right. It says right on the jacks, don't lift the tires. But it was easy enough to level it just by hand cranking it. So I think with this, It'd do the same thing, but be because this had too small of a throw. Yeah. So, so we'll try that. Okay. So now, now you can see, I'd have to have a lot of blocking to get the hydraulic jacks up there, or maybe they make some taller ones. But these seem to work pretty good. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that don't work have to get the uh, six-sided hex on here so it can't spin out but now we know that don't work like that okay because that one over there is carrying the biggest load I wasn't able to but this one so if nothing else I could use this just to get it in position and then switch over to your ratchet. And then if I needed to go heavier, I could switch to the ratchet. So I guess that does work pretty good. It's a win-win. Just like it is. No need to make it be so it would do a burnout because that'd probably just be hard on this, the drill and... Yeah, and, and the jack. Exactly. Okay, guys, here's, here's where we ended up on the jack situation. Um, we figured out we could just put a three-quarter inch socket in our ratchet. And I actually have a bigger one, but anyhow, for picking in the load up and down, um, this was way better than that swing handle. And the one with the longer handle was just another step up. So the ratchet worked good, three quarter inch ratchet on this scissor jack. Ended up being an easy way, but that's really slow. So this worked but it didn't work with the load on it and in the drill. So Chris TIG welded this socket that I had onto this, and now it'll fit in the impact driver. So in the impact driver, worked really good. <laughs> so 
I got my level hanging down here, so I see we need to go up just a little bit more. Anyhow, as I mentioned earlier, these are not intended to lift the tires off the ground or to be used in that fashion, but they're working with the suspension, so the springs are still pushing up, but now these are helping push it up farther to level it. So for us, I think these are the way to go. And what it does now, we had, we played with the hydraulic jacks and they bled off over the night. So in the morning they'd be down three quarters of an inch and we weren't level again. So being those were used jacks, I get that, but it just made me feel like eventually those jacks are gonna end up in the same place. So that's not a great idea for us. So that brought up another point was when we did have the hydraulic jacks in, we had all four corners pegged up. Well, so it took, the, the bus was level and it no longer went right and left when you walked through it, you know, it didn't sway. But now it springs a little bit when you walk through the center. So when Shelly comes walking up the bus, it's like boing, 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 boing. <laughs> I think that's unavoidable. So if you're gonna say, maybe somebody will say, oh, you need to jack farther underneath the middle. Well, on this bus, there's no place to hit down there. Um, there's just no convenient place. There's, you have to get way under the bus to get one out in the middle, and I'm, I don't feel like that's really safe. No convenient place out in the middle or, or a fourth of the way back where we could get these jacks on this bus. So we ordered another set of these jacks, jacks off of Amazon, and the cool thing, the one we ordered coming in, they come with this thing. They come with a couple of these already made up to go into the impact driver. So we'll have a couple extra of these. We'll probably never wear this one out though. So Shelly will put a link to the other set that we ordered because, you know, like everything, you really got to watch these things. These are 7,500 pound jacks that we got at the local RV supplier, which was great because they had them here and we needed them but we wanted to buy some off of Amazon so you guys can see what we got. I'm all jacked up about this. <laughs> okay guys, like Randy said, we're gonna just live with this for a while and um, see how it feels and then we will just go from there. That's part of the journey is learning along the way. And um, no, no matter how big or small the journey um, becomes, we love sharing it with you all and are so grateful for the support along the way. So um, we will just catch you guys in the next one and hope you have a wonderful day and love to you all. Bye.